Thanks Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. I have been on a quest to find out the best way to tenderize steaks. And I have tested quite a few things, including throwing sparkling water on steaks. And if you have not seen that video, I highly recommend. The results were shocking. I have also done what most Asian countries do, and that is to add baking soda to your steaks. Now that video, the results were not what I expected. You gotta check it out. But so far, the best way to tenderize a steak has always come out to the champion, which is pineapple. The enzymes that comes inside of the pineapple just destroy steaks. And yes, it makes them extremely tender. And with all of the experiments I have done with tenderizing steaks, I've always learned something. And today is no different because you have suggested I try Sprite. Many people commenting on those videos said that their grandmother always used Sprite to tenderize. Now I love to drink Sprite, but not to tenderize meat. There's something about this lemon lime soft drink that is awesome. But to tenderize steaks? Well, we're gonna find out. But I wanted to go a little bit beyond. Instead of only doing it with steaks, I decided to tenderize every meat I had available. This way we'll know once for all what Sprite does to meat. And the first thing we're gonna try to tenderize is the toughest one of them all. We're talking about the $1 steaks, aka the eye round. Usually you do not use this as steaks because it's way too tough. Most people will cook it as a roast and let me tell you, that is okay. But as a steak, it is like shoe leather. So if Sprite can do anything on these steaks, then we're in for a good treat. There is zero secret to this. You just gotta throw it into a safe container and add the Sprite. Notice I did not season the steaks at all. That's because if we do that before the Sprite, it will all fall off. So that is not a good idea. And as you can see, after I added the Sprite, check it out. Just like the sparkling water, it looks like it's doing something. I'm wondering if the carbonation is going between the meat. At the same time, Sprite has a lot of sugar. Is he gonna make my steak sweet? All of these things are running through my head and I have no idea what to expect. And that is why I do it so that we can learn what happens. But with all that being said, the only thing left to do now is to let it rest in my refrigerator for two hours. Hopefully it's gonna make my steak nice and tender. The next meat we're gonna tackle is chicken. And as you can see, I chose thighs. To make it even more challenging for the Sprite, I left the skin on. As you already know, there's not much to it. I just added all the thighs to the container and threw in the Sprite. I never really paid attention to the smell of Sprite until now. It smells good. And again, I definitely think the carbonation is doing something. Because take a look at it, how can it not? Well, we're gonna find out real soon and I'm also wondering if the chicken is gonna be sweet. The only thing left to do now is to cover it up and let it rest in my refrigerator for two hours. The last and final meat we're gonna be tenderizing today is gonna be these beautiful pork chops. As you can see, they have two bones on them. That's where baby back ribs comes from. And even though these are nice and tender, I'm wondering if it's gonna make any difference. But most importantly, notice that they are two inches thick. If Sprite can tenderize a meat this thick, man, this thing is real good. But again, I have no idea what's about to happen. Like every other one, whenever you're adding Sprite to the meat is extremely satisfying. You can clearly see that this looks like a crazy science experiment. And my hopes is really up for this one because everyone has Sprite on their refrigerator. Now, as you already know, the only thing left to do is to cover it up and let it rest on my refrigerator for two hours. Once the time was up, I took them out and look at this. Now that really looks like a science experiment. It pretty much reminds me of biology class. If you know, you know. The first one to get uncovered is the steaks. And check it out what happened to the eye round. The red color is 100% gone. With every tenderizing experiment I do, this is 100% normal and nothing to be alarmed by. If I put a fresh steak right next to it, take a look at it. You would think one is like 100 years old, but no, it's just Sprite. Holding it in my hand, I can tell you right away that it's not extremely tender. Yes, the fibers are separating a little bit, but nothing crazy. But jumping on to the next one, we got chicken. And I mean, take a look at this. Oof, that's biology class right there. It's slightly pale in color, but at the same time, it's not that much different. If I put one right next to the other, they are almost identical. The interesting thing is when I hold it in my hand. And I can tell you right away that it feels way more tender. Yes, even though the coloration is different, the tenderness is definitely there. It is way softer. Now jumping on to our last one, we got the pork. Just like the steak, it has also lost a little bit of its color. However, unlike the steak, it's not that big of a difference. The humongous difference is actually when you hold it in your hand. It does feel slightly more tender than the fresh one. But now that all of our meat 
meats have been tenderized by Sprite for two hours, the next thing to do is to go ahead and get them seasoned. And for that, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible to see if Sprite added any flavoring to them. So I chose to go with only salt and freshly ground black pepper, nothing else. The only thing I made sure was to season them well, and I am actually looking forward to see the results. But now that we got them fully seasoned, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook. For that, I'm first going to be putting a beautiful sear in all of them. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach a desired internal temperature. For chicken, I'm looking at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. For the steaks, that's 135. The pork, on the other hand, is 145. But now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them, so let's do it. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. They are currently running a huge discount on their three-year deal for just $1.39 per month with a 30 days money-back guarantee. The deal is not going to last that long, so make sure you check it out by clicking the link in the video description down below. Atlas VPN is a tool that encrypts your data and hides your virtual location. When you connect to a VPN server, your device is given a new IP and DNS address. Then all of the traffic is encrypted and routed to the VPN server. When the traffic arrive at the server, Server, the VPN server decrypts the information and allows the traffic to access the desired destination. And Atlas VPN is supported in any device. They have this great feature called Data Breach Monitor. You insert the email address into the tool and it scans the internet to see if it ended up in any recorded data breaches or data dumps that includes emails, names, password, or sensitive information. And this is awesome because it gives you a heads up to change your password before anyone has a chance to steal your account. With Atlas VPN, you can unlock access to geoblock libraries on streaming platforms such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, HBO, and many more. Let me show you, check it out. I live in the US, but if I wanna see what Netflix has going on in the UK, and there you go, as easy as this. And if you are in a different country, you can also unlock the US library as well. They are currently running a huge discount on their three-year deal for just $1.39 per month with a 30 days money back guarantee. The deal is not gonna last long, so make sure to check it out in the video description down below. Thank you, Atlas VPN, for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful feast today, Mama. Big huh? feast banquet over here. <laughs> All kind of meats. We got steak, we got chicken, we got also pork chops. We got everything. Obviously, we got an experiment, Mama. I'm excited about this experiment. I don't even need to tell you anymore. Don't even need to tell. Huh? Come on, like. <laughs> I don't need to tell Mama anything. He already knows the drill. Which one would you like to go first? Let's go with the chicken. Chicken? Yes. Why? Get a bad one out of the way already. <laughs> Get it over with? Yes. As you can see, I made it nice and... A you pronounced. Give, give you some extra love, huh? a, an extra tar over there, everybody. <laughs> Enough talking. You ready for this one, Mo? Let's do this. All right. I'm not excited about chicken. I gotta be honest. <laughs> All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. But you see, you do it on the grill. It tastes good, it's man. Good. <laughs> That's what happens when you do it on the grill. Wow. It makes the chicken taste good with only salt and pepper and charcoal. That's all you need. Look at hating on the chicken. The chicken is good. The damn chicken is good, everybody. All right, Mama. All right. So, bottom line is we're testing tenderness, Mama. That's what we're testing. Okay. All right? 
So if it's more tender, I want to know. Because flavor-wise, it should be exactly the same. Second one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Mm. It is more tender. It is more tender, everybody. You heard it from him, not yeah, from it me. It is more tender. <laughs> What's going on over here? Wow. It's not like a filet mignon and a, <laughs> and a eye round. No, 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 no. But it is a little more tender. It is more tender. I would say it is also juicier. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. It's juicier. It's more it tender. Juicier. The verdict. Did it work? It worked. On chicken, thumbs up. All right, Mama, let's go for the next one before you actually finish the whole chicken, all right? All right. So the same exact scenario. That one is yours, all right? This one will be mine. All right. Slightly pink, juicy just the way I like it, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Salt and pepper, man, and smoke. It is amazing. I'm telling you right now, not that much things on this thing and it still tastes incredible. Still good. You ready for the second one? I'm ready for the second one. Let's see if it works on this one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. <laughs> Are you serious? What the hell did you do here? Wow, there's a huge difference, everybody. Big, big difference. Huge, huge difference. I'm excited for this one, mm. Mom. Wow, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. No, it's funny. Mm. The first one is very thin. The second one is a little bit chunkier. The second one is still easier to chew than the first one. <laughs> I know, right? It's it is amazing. It's more tender and it is juicier. The flavor is very similar. The pork, I can taste a little bit of difference in the flavor, but it's not a lot. Not, nothing crazy, no, you know what I mean? No, it's not gonna make me stop eating the other one. But it's definitely more tender and juicier. This is going really, really good for the experiment. Now, Mama, <laughs> Mama has no idea what it is. <laughs> I don't know, I know it's good. That's all I care about. It is good, everybody, and it does work. Wow. Enough talking, let's go for the next one. You ready? All right. All right, let's go. Let's try the very first one. Oh, man. I can tell you right now. It's like... Hold on. This one, I'm going to get the middle. <laughs> this one, I'm going to get the middle. My mom tried to cut the edge. And it was like a shoe leather, my mom. <laughs> it's not cutting, and it's not because of the knife. That's what happened with me, everybody. All right, my mom. You ready for some shoe leather? Let's do this. All right, let's try it. Cheers, Cheers everybody. You're gonna get a little uh, soreness on your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep chewing. It's tasty, but it's... <laughs> Thank you for the meat flavor gum. <laughs> it is kind of like a chewing gum. That is exactly what it is. Oh man, hold on. This is gonna take a while, everybody. It tastes wonderful, but there's no tenderness. It's the same thing as if you were chewing gum. Let's go for the next one, Omar. Right, you ready for this? The next one. It and? feels a little bit tender already. Oh, I cut it right in the middle and it does feel tender. Yep, I agree with you 100%. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. It's still chewing gum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. Mm. You still chewing it. Mm. It feels softer. It does. But it's still chewy. No, it's no, of course it's chewy. It's an eye round, mama. <laughs> but I would say that it is softer. It is softer. It definitely worked in every single meat that we worked on. Now here's the deal. You know what I used for this? Mm. Sprite. Sprite. A lot of grandmothers use Sprite in many different countries. I did not know about this, but they do it. All the grandmothers out there, you are right. It so works. You just marinate it on Just Sprite? put it in marinade for a Sprite for two hours and that's it. Oh. Does not give any off flavor. No. It does not taste sweet. Mm -hmm. It does not change the flavor profile, almost nothing. Slightly different, but not that much. And if all you have is Sprite to tenderize your meat, it works. Now I will say this. It works a lot better on the chicken and also the pork mm -hmm. than the than steak the, because the yeah. steak is harder, but that thing is a shoe leather. Yeah, steak is tough. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. And if there's anything in your country that they use to tenderize meat, let me know. I would like to try it. Mm -hmm. My mouth's still chewing. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.